It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Epictetus Our lives are full of unpredictable twists and turns. Sometimes we're met with moments of joy, but often we face challenges that test our emotional strength. Whether it's a difficult relationship, a setback at work, or even the pressure we put on ourselves, these experiences can feel overwhelming. But what if I told you that the key to managing these challenges lies not in changing the world around you, but in mastering your inner response? Welcome to today's video, where we'll explore the wisdom of Stoicism and how its teachings can transform your mental health journey. In a world that is constantly demanding more from us, it's easy to feel anxious, stressed or lost. But the Stoics, ancient philosophers who lived thousands of years ago, developed practices that can help us face these emotions with resilience and clarity. The beauty of Stoicism is its practicality. It doesn't ask us to escape or ignore life's difficulties, but to confront them with courage and composure. This philosophy teaches us that while we can't always control what happens to us, we can control how we respond, and in that response lies our freedom. In today's video, we're going to dive into seven stoic strategies that you can apply right now to reshape your mental health journey. Whether you're seeking to manage stress, overcome anxiety, or simply find more peace in your everyday life, these principles will provide a clear path forward. Each of these strategies is grounded in ancient wisdom, but is incredibly relevant for modern life. And by the end of this video, you'll have actionable techniques to bring stoic resilience into your own life. So, if you're ready to take control of your mental health, not by escaping life's challenges, but by facing them head on, you're in the right place. Let's embark on this journey of transformation together starting with the very first strategy that will empower you to rise above life's challenges with the wisdom of a Stoic. Strategy 1. Control what you can and accept what you can't. The first and perhaps most powerful strategy in Stoicism is the concept of controlling what you can and accepting what you cannot. In a world that is constantly changing, we often feel overwhelmed by things we simply cannot influence. Other people's opinions, unexpected events or outcomes beyond our reach. But the Stoics believed that true peace and freedom come from understanding the difference between what we can control and what we cannot. At the heart of Stoic philosophy is the idea that our internal world, our thoughts, emotions and reactions are within our control while the external world, events, circumstances, and the actions of others are not. When we focus too much on controlling the uncontrollable, we find ourselves anxious, frustrated, and mentally exhausted. However, by shifting our attention to what we can control, our own actions, thoughts, and judgments, we unlock a powerful source of inner calm and mental resilience. Imagine a situation where someone criticizes you unjustly. Your initial reaction might be anger or frustration, but these emotions stem from a desire to control how others perceive you. By applying stoic wisdom, you can pause and remind yourself that their opinion is outside your control. What you can control is your reaction to that criticism. Instead of letting anger consume you, you can choose to remain calm, reflect on whether there is any truth to the feedback, and let go of any unnecessary emotional burden. This approach applies to all areas of life. Whether you're dealing with a stressful work environment, the unpredictability of relationships, or even the state of the world, you can gain immense peace by focusing only on what's within your control. The Stoic practice of dichotomy of control gives us the clarity to identify where our energy should be spent and where we need to let go. By embracing this mindset, you'll find that many of life's stresses start to dissolve. Instead of being tossed around by external forces, you remain anchored, 
responding thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. This shift in focus can dramatically improve your mental health by reducing anxiety, frustration, and feelings of helplessness. So the next time you find yourself overwhelmed, ask yourself, is this within my control? If the answer is yes, take action. If the answer is no, let it go. This simple yet profound technique is the first step toward transforming your mental health journey through Stoic wisdom. Strategy 2. Practice Negative Visualization The second Stoic strategy that can dramatically impact your mental health is the practice of negative visualization or premeditatio malorum, the premeditation of evils. At first glance, this might sound counterintuitive. Why would we deliberately visualize negative outcomes or setbacks? The answer lies in preparation. By mentally preparing for possible challenges, we lessen their emotional impact when they occur. Negative visualization is not about pessimism. It's about building resilience and reducing fear of the unknown. In modern life, we often get trapped in cycles of worry fearing the worst, but without any constructive action. Stoicism teaches us to face those fears head on, not by avoiding them, but by contemplating them with calmness and clarity. When you visualize potential difficulties, such as losing a job, encountering financial difficulties, or experiencing relationship problems, you diminish their power over you. Rather than being blindsided by adversity, you're mentally prepared for it making it easier to handle if it actually happens. Consider how this practice might help someone dealing with anxiety over a work presentation. Instead of endlessly worrying about the potential for failure, the stoic approach would be to calmly visualize the scenario where things don't go as planned. Perhaps the presentation doesn't resonate with the audience, or maybe technical issues arise. By facing these possibilities mentally, you allow yourself to detach from the fear of them. This exercise helps you come to terms with the worst case scenario while realizing that in most cases, it is not as devastating as your mind initially made it out to be. This doesn't mean you're inviting negativity into your life. In fact, negative visualization often leads to greater appreciation of the present moment. When you contemplate the temporary nature of the things you love, your health, your possessions, even your relationships, you become more grateful for them. You're reminded that nothing is guaranteed, and instead of living in constant fear of loss, you begin to cherish what you have now, while preparing yourself emotionally for whatever may come. This stoic strategy can also reduce the power of stress. By thinking about challenges beforehand, you realize that many of the situations we fear are manageable, and the anticipation of them often causes more suffering than the events themselves. Seneca wrote, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Negative visualization helps us see through the illusion of overwhelming fear, reducing anxiety, and promoting a sense of calm preparedness. Incorporating this practice into your daily life can drastically improve your mental resilience. Instead of dreading the future, you face it with a clear mind and a steady heart. Next time you find yourself worrying about a potential setback, pause and use this stoic exercise. Visualize the worst, accept that it could happen and realize that you can handle it. This is how you transform anxiety into preparedness and peace. Strategy 3. Cultivate Gratitude Gratitude is a powerful stoic practice that can transform your mental health. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to focus on what we don't have, constantly striving for more. This mindset creates a cycle of dissatisfaction where we believe that happiness is just beyond the next achievement. Stoicism teaches us that the key to contentment lies in recognizing and appreciating what we already have. 
Practicing gratitude means consciously shifting your focus from what's lacking to what's present. For instance, if you're feeling frustrated about not reaching a personal goal, instead of dwelling on what didn't happen, reflect on the progress you've made. This shift in perspective reduces anxiety and brings more peace into your life, as you're no longer caught up in the endless pursuit of more. Gratitude is also an antidote to comparison. In today's digital age, social media can fuel feelings of inadequacy by constantly showing us what others have. Stoicism encourages us to focus on our own journey and the unique blessings in our life. When you stop comparing yourself to others and start appreciating your own circumstances, your mindset becomes more positive and resilient. The Stoic philosopher Seneca reminds us that wealth isn't measured by how much you possess, but by how little you need. By regularly practicing gratitude, you train your mind to see abundance rather than scarcity, reducing the anxiety that comes from always wanting more. To begin, try a simple daily exercise. Write down three things you're grateful for. This practice can help you shift toward a more content and balanced mindset, building resilience and mental peace. Strategy four, detach from outcomes. One of the greatest sources of emotional turmoil comes from our attachment to specific outcomes. Whether it's a desired promotion, a personal achievement, or validation from others, we often tie our happiness to results that are beyond our control. When things don't turn out as expected, frustration and disappointment can easily follow. Stoicism teaches us to detach from outcomes and focus on what we can truly control, our actions and attitudes. The Stoics emphasize effort over results. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that while we have control over our thoughts and actions, we cannot dictate external events. By accepting this reality, we free ourselves from unnecessary stress. For example, imagine working hard for a promotion. You've given your best, but ultimately the decision is out of your hands. Stoicism encourages you to focus on the satisfaction of having put in your best effort, rather than allowing the outcome to affect your sense of self-worth. This principle also applies to personal relationships. Often we expect certain responses or outcomes from others, whether it's a specific behavior or reaction. By letting go of these expectations and focusing instead on our own intentions and actions, we foster healthier, more fulfilling relationships. The key is to release control over how things unfold and remain grounded in our own efforts. Detaching from outcomes doesn't mean you stop striving for success or improvement. It means finding peace in the process itself, recognizing that you've done your part. This mindset reduces anxiety and allows you to maintain emotional balance no matter the results. Strategy five, practice self-reflection. Self-reflection is a cornerstone of stoicism the practice of regularly examining your thoughts, actions and decisions allows you to live intentionally and align with your values. For mental health, self-reflection provides clarity and emotional balance, helping you stay focused on what truly matters while eliminating unnecessary stresses. The Stoics believed in the power of nightly self-examination. At the end of each day, they would reflect on how they handled situations, whether they acted according to their principles and where they could improve. This process creates a habit of self-awareness that allows you to catch negative patterns before they grow into larger problems. For example, you might reflect on a day when you felt anxious or stressed. Instead of dwelling on the emotions, use self-reflection to examine what triggered those feelings. Did you respond with patience or did you let external circumstances control your reactions? By doing this, you begin to see patterns in your behavior that might be contributing to anxiety or emotional unrest. 
Recognizing these patterns allows you to make small adjustments, leading to greater emotional resilience over time. In modern life, it's easy to get caught up in the fast pace of daily tasks, rarely pausing to reflect. However, by setting aside time for self-reflection, even for just a few minutes each day, you develop a deeper understanding of yourself. This practice reduces impulsive reactions, helping you stay grounded, make better decisions, and improve your mental well-being. The key is to stay consistent with this habit. Through self-reflection, you empower yourself to continually grow, learn from mistakes, and align your actions with your highest self. Strategy 6. Practice Voluntary Discomfort Voluntary discomfort is a stoic practice that involves intentionally embracing discomfort to build resilience. The idea is simple. By subjecting ourselves to controlled, temporary hardships, we better prepare for the inevitable difficulties life will throw at us. This practice helps reduce fear, strengthens mental toughness, and makes us more adaptable when challenges arise. The Stoics believed that comfort breeds complacency, and that stepping outside our comfort zone makes us stronger. Examples of voluntary discomfort could be fasting, taking cold showers, or giving up certain luxuries for a set period. These small controlled hardships teach us that we can handle discomfort, making it less daunting when we encounter unplanned difficulties. For instance, by fasting occasionally, you train yourself to be content with less, this practice not only strengthens your body, but also your mind. It builds resilience to hunger, reminding you that you don't need constant abundance to be happy. Similarly, taking cold showers or walking in unpleasant weather pushes you out of your comfort zone, teaching you that discomfort is temporary and manageable. This principle applies to everyday life. When faced with challenges like an unexpected work setback or personal hardship, those who regularly practice voluntary discomfort are better equipped to handle them. They've trained their minds and bodies to face discomfort with composure and calm rather than panic. By incorporating this practice into your routine, you cultivate resilience. It prepares you for life's uncertainties and allows you to face adversity without fear. Voluntary discomfort builds a stronger, more resilient mind ready for anything. Strategy 7. Embrace Impermanence. The final Stoic strategy is to embrace impermanence. Everything in life is temporary, our experiences, emotions, and even the people around us. While this truth can be unsettling, the Stoics saw it as a path to peace and emotional resilience. By accepting the fleeting nature of all things, we can learn to appreciate the present moment and reduce our fear of loss. When we hold on to the illusion that things will last forever, we set ourselves up for suffering. The Stoics understood that resisting change or clinging to what is temporary only leads to anxiety and distress. Instead, by fully acknowledging that everything in life, including ourselves, is impermanent. We release the emotional weight that comes with attachment. For example, consider the anxiety that comes from fearing the loss of a job, relationship, or even health. The stoic approach would be to recognize that these are all part of the natural cycle of life. Nothing lasts forever. By embracing this truth, we learn to appreciate what we have while we have it without becoming consumed by the fear of losing it. This mindset can also help us let go of past regrets or future worries. When we recognize that time moves forward and that change is inevitable, we can focus on what matters most, living with intention in the present. By embracing impermanence, we cultivate gratitude for every experience, no matter how temporary it may be, this practice frees you from the burden of fearing loss and allows you to find peace in the present. Embracing impermanence is a powerful stoic tool for cultivating a balanced and resilient mind. 
as we've explored, Stoicism offers timeless wisdom that can profoundly impact your mental health journey. By applying these seven strategies, controlling what you can, practicing negative visualization, cultivating gratitude, detaching from outcomes, engaging in self-reflection, practicing voluntary discomfort, and embracing impermanence, you can begin to transform how you navigate life's challenges. Stoicism doesn't promise an easy life, but it equips us with the tools to face adversity with strength, resilience, and inner peace. The beauty of Stoicism is in its practicality. These strategies are not abstract theories. They are actionable techniques you can start implementing today. Each step brings you closer to a more grounded and resilient mind, helping you manage stress, anxiety, and the inevitable ups and downs of life. Remember, Stoicism is a journey, not a destination. The more you practice these principles, the more natural they become, gradually reshaping how you think, react, and grow. It's about progress, not perfection. So start small, choose one strategy from today's video, and apply it in your life this week. Reflect on how it changes your perspective and strengthens your emotional resilience. If you found value in this video, I invite you to subscribe and join this community of individuals striving for self-improvement through Stoicism. Leave a comment below and share your thoughts on which Stoic strategy resonates with you the most. How will you apply it to your own mental health journey? Thank you for watching and remember, the Stoic path is a lifelong commitment to inner peace and growth. Let's continue learning and growing together.